this girl saw him, she liked him, she also drunk, then she said, finger me. <laughs> and he fingered her on, on the, the dance, dance floor. floor. Hi, I'm Gabe. Hi, I'm Sing Hui. Hi, I'm Gwen. Hi, I'm Leah. And this is Zula Chit Chat. Okay, guys, welcome to this episode of Chit Chat. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about clubbing culture in Singapore and as well as some unspoken rules when it comes to clubbing. So let's start off with your first ever clubbing experience. When I was 14, a few of my friends decided to bring a few of us out and then went to this club that I shall not name. Oh my and God. we were inside for like a while, a few days later. We found out that the club shut down because on the night that we went, right, um, someone reported, reported us saying that oh, uh, there were kids entering this place and like a club. And then boom, shut down. Oh my god! <laughs> See what about you? She's the youngest here, by the way. Yeah, How old are so you young. now? 19. 19. Okay, so, so please share your fresh stories because all of us are too old. <laughs> um, my first time was when I was 18, so it was last year. Mm. Then, uh, cause my birthday is very near National Day, so I went on National Day Eve. It was very weird cause we had to sing my guitar in the club. Yeah. No, 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 like only <laughs> my guitar, <laughs> oh, legit. <laughs> then got like not just like my guitar, I got like the. This is home. Also, oh, yeah, this is very, very weird. So I never went clubbing when I turned eighteen in that year. But the next year when I was like, I finished with A levels, right, my friend. Turn 18 in Jen. And then we just like, hey, actually you never go clubbing before. And she's like, yeah, I never go. Like, hey, you want to go or not? So we just decided like, let's go. And then she got a lot of like older guy friends, right? So they were like, hey, like we bring you all along, ah, that kind. My friend Kana, like this guy, he just shoved the phone in her face with a keypad there. Then I'm just like, so why is she supposed to do with this keypad? And it's like, huh? And then he like, <laughs> and then I'm just like, no. But she like, and he'll press some random number inside. But it's very, it was a very strange experience for me because I was just like, wow, people are so direct in the club, ah. Then I just, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, and how about you? I think I'm the typical kind of girl. In, only in poly, like close to year two, right? Mm. Then I started my first clubbing experience. Mm-hmm. It was normal lah. Like, it was my first time drinking also actually. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, drinking until I was like, flushing mm. and I don't... I, oh, I puked. Oh, yeah. God. So okay. literally everything was my first. Which club do you go actually? Zook. The, the old one. Jackie Moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Back the then. Why is that? Why is that? So for someone who like, never stepped foot in a club before, right? What can you tell them? The club inside looks like, and what can you expect? Wow. I mean, what I can say, right? When I go inside, I freaking shook, right? Then the music them not. And then, oh my god, sometimes it's really damn crowded, right? Then it's damn irritating because it's like people just keep like squeezing you, then you keep squeezing them, then you're irritated that they squeeze you, but then sometimes you also squeeze other people, then you just like, ugh. Mm-hmm. I feel like the nights that you choose to go, right? Sometimes like the music is good. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, like certain yeah. DJs. Mm. Yeah. But sometimes the music is like really like trash. Mm. So like got different like uh, clubs to go to for like the different kind of music that you like. Mm. Cause like at Zoo is like legit like eh, eh, like that one. <laughs> then, but then like, like at maybe like Cherry. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. true. Uh, but speaking of like the types of clubs, right? Mm. So I want to have this short comparison of our generation versus your generation. <laughs> wow. Okay. Where, 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 do where else yeah. do you all go? Uh, usually go to zoo. I think got like the, is it called one? Oh, oh yeah, it's yeah. like popular now. Got, what else? Huh? Got like all the single single word name clubs. Oh my god, is it yeah. one called Yang? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know how I know? Cause my sister posts on her IG story. Like, what the fuck is this place? Zoo. Ozu. 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 I I I Ozu. Really? But I don't think that. How's it like? How's it different? Uh, it's smaller. It's like narrower, yeah. but I don't think it's smaller. Okay, yummy. Yeah, then if you turn left, right? If I'm not wrong, it's to... Future, right? Future, right? Yeah, future. Future? Future. Yeah, now yeah. it's still got like, it's the same, I think. No, so there's... No, 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 last time got Delvin. Yeah. Now don't have. Uh, now, now it's, it's like capital. capital. Yeah. Uh-huh. Are there any very memorable experiences when you have gone clubbing? One day my friend told me, Gabe, uh, I owe you something, something. Then she's like, okay, I'll buy you a grip. Then she brought me to... Future? When DJ Ghetto was playing. Oh my god! In oh Zuga. Then she brought, she's like, okay, let's go to DJ booth. Then I saw my friend in the crowd. Then I'm like, bro, what's up? Then because, right, DJ Ghetto beside me on my right. My and then what was in front of me was the turntable. And then I put my hand on the on the turntable. On the turntable. All of a sudden, right, DJ Ghetto grabbed me and he threw me to one side. He said, bro, what the fuck are you doing? But I didn't, I didn't know what was going on because I was drunk. After that, right, because I didn't want anybody to see me like duck walk out of the club, right? And then my friend came to me and they were like, Gabe, okay, what the happened? I said, huh? What do you mean happen? I was just smoking like, why? Then he said, bro, you stopped the music. <laughs> I stopped the music in future. Holy <laughs> shit. You didn't realize. 
I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh I, I, my I, god! I didn't hear that the music stopped. Me, I just, I just saw yeah, something wrong. Yeah, I think wrong. he was too focused on like. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's that's uh. freaking legendary. That's yeah. freaking legendary. Freaking funny. Oh my god. Sing you got any stories? So I was with my friends, friends. They were pre drinking at the Red Bridge. Then got this guy come to me. He's like my friend's friend now. Uh. Then he just, he saw my drink. Oh, huh? what? yeah, he saw my drink. Then I'd be like, huh? Then I, I was I was high already, but I was still conscious enough to know that something was up. Mm. So I like I damn blind scared like he spiked my drink or something. Typically when you drink, you get like a bottle of hard liquor mm. plus like mixers. Uh. So if this is the cup, right? The hard liquor is like this. Then the mixer is like this, ma. Okay. But then when my friend drank it, right, it tasted like this, this much hard liquor and this much mixer. So. Okay. Then then like he's yeah, could have been you. I think he was intentionally trying to get us drunk. Okay. Or rather me because he swapped my drink. Uh, but like I did uh, like I was just cautious uh, like maybe he spiked my drink or whatever. Mm. But it's never lah. But it was I think it's still very important to like be aware of like your surroundings. Yeah. Like when you're drinking especially of your cups. And yeah, of course. Mm. I actually have one. Okay. It was quite bad to a point where like my friends had to go for this station. Oh god. Yeah. Right. And there's a like weapon involved. Oh no. Yeah. And it was after like dinner and dance in Polly. Then we went to a club and then someone like banged on me. And then my ex-boyfriend was so angry that he and his like gang started like trying to like, like ask him, hey, what are you doing? Like that kind of thing, I like, trying to fight and all. And then that guy was like so drunk also and high, he said like, what, 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 fight, uh, fight, fight. Then, okay, so in the end, they, they fought in the club. Then the bouncer bring that out. Then the guy took out a knife. <gasps> because he was already drunk, so we were very scared that he's gonna charge towards yeah. one of them. And, yeah, then someone called the police, and then the police came. I was very shocked. I remember I was sobbing and crying because oh, why, like, because it was my ex boyfriend. Oh. Yeah, and then it was because of me. Oh, that's the thing with clubs, uh, I tell you. Oh, people Hit fight anybody yeah. or, like, touch anybody, right? You know, it's so freaking crowded. Mm. Like, sometimes things happen accidentally. It's just like, move! The yeah. fuck on, you know what I mean? I think mine is like the most rough so one. It was Halloween, and then uh, we decided to go as superhero team. So my friend was Black Widow, and I was Wonder Woman. Then I went inside the club, and then I know one of my other friends was there. So I texted my, I was in my main group. I said, "Hey, I'll go and find my friend, other friend for what? Ten minutes. I'll come back." Then I text back, "Hey guys, where are you?" Then suddenly, uh, one of our friends got hit on the head with a bottle. Then I just like, ah, like oh. what? <laughs> like I just like read the text, like bottle. Then I found my friend standing outside. I was like, "Okay, what the fuck happened?" Um, she got hit in, bottle, hit in the bottle and now her head is bleeding and it's quite bad. So, okay, I went to the hospital and whatever. So, this is the first time I ever rode in an ambulance. It was like my bucket list, like, check. But, like, yeah. <laughs> in uh, your Wonder Woman costume. In my Wonder Woman costume. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, the entire time I was in my Wonder Woman costume. Then I was walking in, then everybody looked at us, right? Then I realized I really look like a crazy ass motherfucker in my red heels and like super. I still have the freaking crown on my head, okay? Never doing this again. So, yeah, that was the memory. Okay, moving on. We talk about some unspoken rules when it comes to clubbing. So, uh, for example, it, a lot of people say like when you go to a club, there must be a certain number of girls, a certain number of guys, kind of thing. For me right now, right, I prefer going with just girls. Same. I have more fun with girls than with guys. Mm. Yeah. So, as in, as long as you think that you know that you can protect yourself, like mm. you know, a guy wants to start you and all, right? It's okay to just say no, mm. like or like just stop him, like. Sorry, or you can just say I have a boyfriend. I think like one important thing, right, is don't punk say your friend in clubs. Yeah, That's the yeah. most irritating thing. Mm. Two of us, just me and my friend go, ah, she punk say me when she's two people, that kind of thing. Like, as if she went to find yeah. some guy, and then the guy got table. But then obviously she's very interested in the guy, right? But then I don't know anybody at the table, but she didn't even bother introducing me to anybody. That is like damn awkward. Oh no, the worst is like when your friend told, right? Mm. Then after that, like, um... The group just decides to leave. Then you're the only person there left with the friend. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah. I've never experienced it before. I, I oh, never experienced it also. Yeah. If one toe, then one someone has to take care of all. All take care. Yeah. If one toe, all will go home. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, go home correct. together. I've gone yeah. to zoo before, right? And drink outside and then someone told outside the club before then you even went in. Go. Never never go. Yeah. Mm. Go home. yeah. Last time in our days, Gen-ish. right? Yeah. It's like you try or whatever, nobody really scold you and anything like that. Nobody kicks yeah. you out and stuff. But I think that in much more recent years that you really would have thrown out of the club mm. if you even like mutter a word. For me my last unspoken rule is kind of like if you're going to a club, be prepared to kind of dance. Even if you don't know how to dance just like that. <laughs> Raise your hands. Yeah. What do you wear to a club? No slippers, of course. Mm. No slippers. You, you, don't, you won't get a lot. Yeah, in. yeah. I feel like last time a lot of girls like, wear very like body con dress or this kind. Now this is like sneakers, jeans. Mm. As long as as you you feel comfortable, you feel mm. like you won't get 
uh, you know, so exposed. For example, you want to wear body con, right? You mm. don't want to like start raising your hand, and then you you have to like yeah yeah pull yeah yeah like yeah like oh yeah yeah like a lot of things to take note. Yeah, you know there's some guys I like to wear layer over layer over layer. Oh my god! Then <laughs> they fucking sweaty. Yeah. If it's a turn off for me as another guy, right, to walk past you and then I smell you and then I rub rub then cold wow, water on my hand, oh then god. you think any girl will like you? Have responsibility. Know yourself, know your limit. Mm. If you know that you cannot drink so much, right, then don't. Uh guys, please work on your responsibility as well. You wanna drink, don't fight, don't go any health touch people. In general, right, Singaporean, Singaporean guys I right, got this got this damn stupid problem. You imagine I'm the girl. <laughs> then Singaporean guys like to come from behind, right? Then they put their hand around the waist, like, then pull. Right, right. See, producers agree. I never, I never do before. No, 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 no. You know why? You know why I never do before? You know why? 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 Because I don't dare. I don't dare to approach. I just hello. What does it mean? At least you ask. What kind of advice would you give to guys who want to impress girls? Talk to them nicely, lah. So sometimes what happens last time is like. If someone is interested in you or whatever, right, they usually tell your friend, it's like, hey, actually, my friend wanna oh, dance with your yeah, friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, can or not, that kind of thing. So it's like, ask permission, yeah, rather than like, you tap the girl, like, can I dance with you? <laughs> That's like, sometimes a bit, so like, oh, okay, a bit shook. But you know, you go through the friends, then the friends are, hey, God, this guy wanna dance with you. Then they can at least QC a bit, you know. Once a girl, you clearly know that a girl is drunk, do not take advantage, you yeah. know, respect them, and then. Also like, if they say no, just okay lah. Mm. Oh, well, with that said, <laughs> we have come to the end of this episode. So uh, thank you guys for watching. We kind of talked a little bit about like the whole clubbing scene in Singapore and also like, um, I guess how to behave appropriately in different situations uh. Yeah, so if you want to take advice, go ahead. If you don't want to, like feel free to share your own advice in the comments down below. And also let us know what else to talk about next time. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.